Welcome back everyone to the Williams Road to Glory here today for the British Grand Prix. I don't need to say much, as always the previous episode will be up here, you can go check it out, click on the link. For this one, you guys know, Silverstone is the AI's strongest track of the entire season and also we're running strict corner cutting limits, so it should be a decent recipe and a safety car is always guaranteed. So let's jump into it, like, subscribe, let's get underway. Now, first off, we have a look at the weather forecast and it promises to be dry. No rain expected, which is good. We then look at the performance chart and nothing for us this weekend as things remain unchanged. Mercedes, another step ahead. They bring yet another upgrade onto their car. We do have a major upgrade for the aerodynamics in place. Uh, hopefully that will arrive soon. If that does, it should take us above Red Bull. Uh, with that said, we move into practice. Silverstone, a track that I love. It's such great fun to drive. And especially in these modern F1 cars, you don't really get any respite. You're just constantly on it all the time. But the downside is the AI around here are very strong, which isn't a bad thing. You know, I don't mind. 110 AI should be tough and it should be a challenge. So I welcome that. But uh, it's definitely one of those races where I have to work really hard. It makes me sweat all the time. So, yeah, um, I'm prepared for a challenge. But we move the practice uh, into qualifying after. And uh, we're going to go to Q1. So after a decent practice session on Friday, we scored a usual amount of about 1,000 R&D points. So we'll spend those at the end, hopefully, of this episode. But we now move into the crucial qualifying session, and more specifically, Q1. Now, soft tires on the car for this first run. I was hoping to get through with just one lap because we've done that recently. So the pattern tends to be one lap in Q1 a medium run then a soft tire run in q2 and then two soft runs in q3 i was hoping to keep that pattern going around here even though we have slightly more complicated ai levels around here but our first lap p7 121.9 from what i can tell on my preview screen not a bad lap but it was only good enough for p15 we've got leclerc in p16 in the ferrari he's a couple of tenths behind us now on this lap we are about two tenths off archon so we need to try and find at least a minimum two tenths on this lap so here we go for a full lap of britain we need this lap to count because otherwise we're probably going to get knocked out so flat out through one and turn two into three bring the car to the left hand side brake at about 75 meters third gear through here just making sure we carry the speed third gear for turn four using a higher gear seems to get better stability and rotation short shifting on the exit the ice open as we go into the wellington straight now we look for the break point into Brooklands here and it's going to be the 50 meter ball just before about 60 meters fifth gear and then down to fourth for Luffield keep the nose um, tight to the apex and then try and get the power down as soon as possible using a bit of a short shift there out through Luffield now onto the old pit straight as we approach Cops corner the old turn one not quite flat out just a small little lift and even then a bit of oversteer on the exit of the corner maggots and then into beckett's flat out slight little lift and a downshift and then chapel through here just making sure we get a nice clean exit onto the hangar straight the eyes open and the better part of three tenths up as we head into stow bring the car to the left brake on the curb sixth gear clip the inside apex and let the car run wide using all the runoff possible then onto the anchors for the final chicane third quickly back up to fourth on a short shift and even fifth if you need it we get a big snap of oversteer there at the final corner we're going to cross the line and improve by just under two tenths we move up to p13 i thought that may have cost us but luckily we got away with it so yeah by the skin of our teeth we got through um surprisingly leclerc did not improve on his final run so leclerc is the big casualty in q1 so had we not improved we still would have got through in p15 but it was definitely a bit closer than i would have liked now in q2 um, we're going to use our medium set. I know I've got no chance of getting through on these tyres whatsoever. Uh, but I don't have enough softs. So we're going to have to use mediums and just make it work. So as you can see, end of the lap, we're going to cross the line. And it's going to be 22.2. So not terrible. You know, about, let's say, four or five tenths off the lap in Q1. But we're now going to move on to a soft tyre run now. This was my best Q2 lap. So we're going to see if it's going to be enough. We're currently P15. Let's see if we can jump into the top 10.
and across the line we go and it is P9 so we've managed to get into the top 10 with the last run in Q2 but unfortunately once everybody else improved we got pushed back down to P11 so that is going to be a bit of a glitch qualifying as P10 Kvyat seemingly got knocked out so something must have happened with him uh, so only nine cars into Q3 Russell in P4 looking very strong with a 21-0 and yeah I couldn't do much more you know that was our personal best Obviously, there's always a bit more time you can find, but in general, we just don't have the rhythm. If you look at the gap to Kvyat, it was nearly four tenths, so there was no way I was going to get any more out of the car than P11. So we maximized the qualifying, which is fine by me. We lose a couple of points in the rivalry to Bottas, but nonetheless, that is going to be it for the qualifying session at Silverstone. We're now going to move into the race. We get P11, which is good, free tire choice, so let's see what happens as we jump into the race here for the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Great Britain then, one of only two countries to have held a Grand Prix in every single year of the Formula One World Championship. And the circuit extends that record further for today's Grand Prix. The 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit in Great Britain is hallowed ground to the Formula One faithful. We have 18 corners that wrap around this former World War II airbase and some good passing opportunities at the end of the DRS zone. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Martinez. No grip penalties, no mitigating circumstances, just a poor qualifying performance and a very disappointing start position for them today. They'll have a sinking feeling as they look up from the cockpit and realize they're in a different postcode to the start line for sure. But the one positive they can hold on to is that the car is quick and they can make their way through the field. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Gasly, Albon, Carlos Sainz, and Ricardo, Norris, Russell, Perez, and Daniel Kvyat, Martinez, Ocon, Nick de Vries, and Verstappen, Stroll, Leclerc, Antonio Giovinazzi, and Kevin Magnussen, Grosjean, and Nobuharu Matsushita. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Now, more often than not, this race tends to be a bit of a rough one for me because Silverstone, of course, as you know, is the AI's best circuit. So it's going to be tricky. And I've usually started on the mediums around here and gone for the alternate strategy. And it hasn't really worked. So for this one, we're going to start on the soft tire and we're going to go to the medium afterwards. So we're going to pretty much follow the exact same strategy as the top 10. We're going to need the soft tire at the start of the race to kind of keep up with the pace and make things happen. It will give us a bit more of an edge as well and try and maintain a stronger race pace, especially because I believe uh, both Mercs are on mediums out front. So they're going to kind of hold back the pack a little bit. Now, fuel-wise, I'm going to go 0.1.1 uh, in terms of fuel for this race. I feel like there's going to be a healthy amount. You know, this is a power circuit, and you need to have some fuel in the reserve. So, yeah, no rain expected here today, and we're going to see if this strategy gamble pays off. So let's jump into it, and let's see how we get on in my home race at Silverstone. Right, let's see if we can get a good race start. The lights are on. And the lights are on. Away we go. Not a bad start, second phase wasn't so great. Gonna go around the outside here at turn one. We managed to actually recover and get one of the Alpha Tauris. Boxed in though, as we head into turn three, we're gonna get the cut back on Perez, who gets forced a little bit wide by his own teammate. Into turn four, around the outside of both Alpha Tauris. We get the drive as well. And look at that, a beautiful double overtake as we uh, close Perez there right on the nose. As they're battling heavily behind, we're going to just take the race in line through here. But that's a great start. Up into P9 after losing a couple of places originally, we actually gained two more. So P11 up to P9. And ahead of the Afataris, we've got Norris ahead. Then it's George Russell. So he's also gained one place. George started in P8. So good to see both of us making progress here. Oh my goodness me. Whoa, that was, whew, that was scary. I'm going to have to watch my tyres now after that for temperatures. See if I can recover real quick. I didn't think I was saving that. I thought I was a dead man. I thought I was gone. Look at the speed though. As we race away from Perez on the hangar straight. Let's see if we can try and get back within a second. We can't drop out of the RS range. We have to have the RS by lap three. If we're not in the RS range, it could be a long race for us. So we need to make sure that we are right on the back of Lando heading on to the next lap, lap number three. 
There's a warning for track limits. Bit of a stupid one, really. I was well in control. I could have easily kept the car inside the white line, but I just kind of just lost concentration there, which is a real shame. But we have managed to stay within the DRS range of Lando Norris, which is great for us. Exactly what we needed. Perez also behind us, and the Vries as well, all within DRS. So pretty much a pretty elongated DRS train, but we're all following each other. There's one Merc out in front. I believe that's Lewis Hamilton starting to open up some daylight between himself and Bottas. The Mercs are in a different planet around here. I mean, they're so fast. They're going to be so tough to beat. But anyway, it's me versus Lando versus George versus Carlos. So two McLarens versus two Williams in the British Grand Prix. Oh, no, that's not good. Oh, my God, that is not good. The second warning already after three laps. By far the worst race of the season so far for track limits. In terms of how we've performed, it wasn't even this bad at Austria. Well, I've got to keep it clean now for the rest of the race. Easier said than done. We now have a bit of separation in this DRS train up ahead. So it looks like both Red Bulls and Bottas have pulled away. And the Alpine that is in front, in front of us, I can't tell who it is. I'm going to guess it's probably Ricardo. He's broken away. He's fallen out of the DRS range. So he's now pulling us along. But to be fair, the battling for P2 seems to have just brought Ricardo back in so as i say that the train has reformed that's how quickly things change around here but that battle for p2 is extremely intense bottas and both Mer uh, both red bull sorry really going at it as they go side by side through the first corner so things could kick off here meanwhile we're just chill behind land i've actually got a one second gap to perez so uh, things are opening up slightly but look at this battle it's really starting to kick off here and i wonder if i can get norris in the process this is when you'll start to get a couple of opportunities start to open up, so we may have a chance of making some moves here. Let's see if we can get Lando. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Copy. That's fun by me, we can go a little bit longer. Tires last forever around here, especially the softs. You can run those for a long time, so... I was considering the overcut anyways, so that's not like completely a bad option for us. But look at this, we're now well in the wheel tracks of Lando Norris here. I fancy a move. Just wasn't quite able to get close enough on that straight. Lando there with a bit of understeer. Do we have a little look into the final chicane? Yes, we do. And we get the move done straight away. Lovely stuff. Lando doesn't put up much of a fight. So we're now eighth in this race. George next. Let's try and line him up. That's the fastest lap of the race. We're only four tenths off that, so we're not a million miles away. Gasly at the front of this train, of course, in the Red Bull. Just kind of dragging everyone along right now. George pretty close to Sainz here. I wonder if maybe he can go for a little move on the Spaniard. We've got Bottas and a Red Bull heading side by side into one. Ricardo tucked in right behind them. So there's battles pretty much constantly everywhere in this race at the moment as I make an absolute mess of turn three. It's Albon versus Bottas though. Bottas struggling for pace on that medium tyre, which is why I didn't start the race on that tyre. I'm much better off starting on soft, and that's something I've learnt now. Racing here against AI, starting the soft tyre is definitely the way to go. I'm getting very close to track limits as well. I'm so close to a third warning. Looks like Bottas has got that one done though, and is up to P3. Yes, he is. But this battle is far from over. The overcut here is going to be so important, especially if we can use Bottas on his mediums to kind of help us go along. That could get spicy. But look at this. We've got multiple two wide here into the S's. This could get ugly. I'm taking a bit of a back step through here. I do not want to get involved. Now, though, we can give it full beans. George is boxed in. We're going to give it absolutely everything here with the engine power. And look at this. We get past three cars into Stowe and make a triple overtake. And that is what I'm talking about. Great timing on that move. We waited for the right opportunity. And we got it done. And we jump all the way up to P5. Exactly what we want. 200 IQ racecraft there. Purple Sector 3. Let's go after Albert and Bottas now. And try and see if we can stretch the cars behind a little bit. Right, some information on Hamilton. They're slowing down. It seems like there's some kind of problem with their car. Ooh, that is massive. Race leader Hamilton with car issues as Albon peels into the pit lane. Let's try and stay with Bottas here. I'm 1.2 behind. I want to try and get back within DRS if possible. As we set a personal best on that lap. Pace is still very strong. So let's try and use Bottas here to drag me along. Okay, we've done enough. We've just got ourselves 
within the ice range of Bottas through the detection point. Let's see if I can use that now to close the gap a little bit, using quite a bit of VRS as well to really close up to the Mercedes here and then use him to drag me along for the remaining laps of my stint. That can help make a big difference here with the overcut, potentially overcut Albon as uh, it looks like Gas is in the pit lane. So with a fast lap here, Gasly pits. So it's now Mercedes 1-2. And also Bottas is naturally going to drag us towards Hamilton, of course, who has car trouble. This is massive. George is in the pits. George in the pits. Yep, George in the pit lane. Let's just do, let's keep doing this. This is working well for us. Bottas fast lap. We match it. And we're really catching Hamilton. This, is, this could be perfect. The timing on this could be ideal. We're going to catch Hamilton by the end of the lap. And then we'll just peel into the pit lane. We'll leave Bottas to battle with his teammate which could cost them time and we're going to strap on the fresh mediums and we could potentially undercut the Mercs here. So suddenly we've gone from trying to get points to actually maybe winning the race here. Okay, we're going to pit this lap. We're on for a personal best and we're, we're just catching up to Hamilton now. So this is perfect. Like I said, we'll leave Bottas now to battle with his teammate and lose a bit of time. We're going to peel off into the pit lane, get it all slowed down to the 60. It's a very slow pit entry this one, but we've nailed it. I think we've had a phenomenal first stint, just chilling in weight. The soft tyre to medium strategy is the, definitely the better option with offline racing when you're battling AI. I've tried the medium a million times and I just wasn't able to make it work. So this is definitely better get to you in the race. Now we've got to see if this has been good enough or not. Away we go, 2.5. We've got Albon on hard tyres. I'm pretty confident we'll be out ahead of Albon to be fair. I think Gasly will be ahead of us though. So it's going to be in between the two Red Bull cars. Here comes Pierre right now. And away we go. Here comes Albon right now through turn one. And we are out ahead of the Thai British driver. Job done. P4. Net P4. Lovely stuff. Now let's see what kind of pace we have. And see if we can undercut the Mercedes possibly. As Bottas now passes Hamilton. So they would have battled a little bit. Right, it's time to push. Let's see what we have on these tyres in terms of our overall pace. Can we catch Gasly? About to find out. Bottas fast as that. Meanwhile, Hamilton in the pit lane. Let's see if we've done enough or not. I've had a bit of a messy lap. I made a bit of a mistake. Lost about a second. Green flag behind. Someone's retired. Oh, no, that's not great. That's going to benefit Hamilton in the pit lane. Oh, boy. Who is it going to be? Who has retired from the race? Hopefully it's not George. It's Verstappen. And that's a safety car. Again, Bottas hasn't pit yet. This is going to screw Bottas over, I think. Where is Hamilton? There he is, pit exit right now. Can we get ahead of him? Yes, we can. Even on the Delta, we've done enough. We've managed to get ahead of Hamilton. That was close, but we did it just. Wow, that was close. Bottas in the pit lane. He's also going for the soft tires. The safety car, though, is gold dust for Hamilton because it's going to give him time to fix his car trouble which is going to make him very, very dangerous on the restart. Right, Delta's gone. I'm going to push here. Looks like there's no weather there. Bottas is long gone. He's comfortably out in the lead. So Bottas could be winning here and cutting down my lead a bit more in the championship. And Hamilton will probably overtake me. So on paper, we need to get Gasly for at least P3 in this race. As I think the Mercs will probably lock out on 1-2. And if we don't get Gasly, then we need to try and hold on to at least P4 in this race well this is it safety car restart i think bottas is going to absolutely fly away we need to try and keep up the pace as best as possible i think hamilton though is going to be too much to keep behind unless he still has car trouble but i am not expecting that to be the case car issues on this game aren't what they used to be so you know they're pretty short and uh, not that powerful but where we go for the restart anyways Let's see what kind of pace we have. Let's try and see if we can get Gasly as well. That's going to be the target for us this race. Tires are nicely warmed up. I think we're going to drop Albon straight away. You can see Hamilton, those arrows. He's actually going to go on the outside here. He's fancying it already, being super aggressive. Can we stay ahead? I don't think we can, to be honest. I'm going to let him go. I'm not even going to bother fighting it, to be honest. I'll just turn my engine down. Just let Lewis get on with it. We'll try and follow him. Maybe he can open up a window of opportunity for us to get past Pierre Gasly. Let's just try and reattach to the rear of Hamilton and drop Albon and everyone else behind him. We've got another yellow behind. Someone's had an issue. Personal best straight off the 
that pretty much to run out of the race. And we've got a virtual safety car. <laughs> oh, brother. Can't get any momentum right now. Down to 18 runners, though. And we just dropped our one out of the RS range there before the VSC. VSC ending. I want to try and maximize this delta as much as possible. Without speeding, of course. But, you know, try and get as much time out of here, which we do. Pretty much a tenth, which is very, very good. Hamilton weaving all over the back of Gasly here. These two going at it. Lewis, he can smell a win. He wants that win. He's going to go hunting for his teammate. Let's try and see if we can get Pierre now, though. I think we could get Gasly here. This might be the chance. He doesn't have the RS on Lewis. Just got to make sure I hit the exit out of here. Which I kind of do. We're more than close enough now, though. Here we go. Look at the speed difference. Gasly doesn't really defend. And we're through. Up into P3. Now, can we finish here? That's the real question. Gasly trying to counter-attack. We managed to put our car nice in the racing line. Meanwhile, Norris has overtaken Albon, so Alex slipping backwards on that hard time. Another personal best. Let's try and see if we have the pace to drop Gasly. I don't think we do, but I'll try my best. Gasly trying around the outside there, like Lewis did on the restart. I am finding it quite hard. I definitely can't shake off Pierre Gasly, so it's going to be about defending now and holding in there until the end of the race. Gasly up the inside through there. He tries to have a look. No way through, though. And Lando's catching up as well. He's getting involved. He's dragging everyone with him as well. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That ain't the one, Chief. That ain't the one. That is bad, bad news. I did the whole race with two warnings. But right at the end, I've picked up a crucial third. This is going to send us a long way down. That is a crucial mistake to make. Everyone's running full engine power now. Gasly is right on my gearbox. He's going to pass me, I think, anyways. Well, actually, to be fair, I've got a good exit there, but... It's going to make no difference. Lando's pushing. Albon has dropped out of the RS range. Up the inside goes Pierre. Oh, no. That's my fault. I messed up there. So I, I could have outbroken him and gone ahead, but that's going to cost us some critical, critical time now. Final corner. Given everything here, but it's going to be oh, a long way out of the points. Oh, boy. Plenty of action here at Silverstone. It was a memorable race, and what an impressive victory. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Without a doubt, the safety car changed everything today. The key to their success was keeping calm and reacting to the situation quickly. We've seen teams in the past throw away wins because they were too hesitant, but here they were decisive and that's allowed them to take the advantage. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Well, there we go then. Unfortunately, it's a painful one. We drop all the way down to P9. That little mistake at the end there with the battle with Gasly, I think only would have maybe, maybe cost us P8. I think only one place difference. Um, but yeah, still, it's not ideal. Uh, not what I had in mind. So yeah, real shame, really. Uh, you know, I, I think we had the pace for P3. The car was great in the race and the strategy is perfect everything lined up but in the end we dropped back down to p9 and a bit of a shame george russell p11 only as well so expecting him to deliver big points today for the team uh, but it didn't happen so just two points for us today and what was a disappointing grand prix bottas hamilton one two for merck bottas fastest lap gasly third ahead of lando carlos albon ricardo perez myself and the score scoring the final point uh, we look at the standings though after that race and uh, we still lead, but the gap is now down to 11 points. Bottas is on a charge. He's cut my lead down from 50 points down to 11. Hamilton also 39 points behind, getting himself slightly back into contention. George down to P7. He gets overtaken by Ricardo and Albon. 
And then in terms of the constructors, we lose a lot of ground to Mercedes. We're now 54 points adrift. That was a big, big hit here today. That was a, a big blow. And my fault, you know, I went up to it. My mistake, track limits, let myself down. So, yeah, we've got to bounce back. You know, we've got work to do. Uh, not just myself, George Russell as well. We'll see what happens. But guys, that's it for the race at Silverstone. We're now going to head into the upgrades. Do you think your teammate was enjoying themselves in front of their home crowd? I hope so. You know, both myself and George, we're from the UK. You know, Williams is an English team or a British team. And, you know, you always want to do well. But today wasn't that day. And I don't think, um, I don't think we gave the crowd much to celebrate, you know, today. So you'd have to ask them probably. How do you think this team will be feeling after that result? I'm not too concerned with them, to be honest with you. Thank you for your time. Well then, after that race, it's a big hit in the rivalry as Bottas picks up four extra points. And, well, I mean, he's eight points ahead of us and we're not even halfway. So it's looking a bit ropey for us. But you never know, we can still maybe try to turn this around either way. It's going to be tricky, but we've got a good run of races coming up, so I'm confident we can get some good points starting from this point onwards. Well, we've got a contract negotiation to tackle here, so we're going to sort that out first. I'm pretty sure Williams will be happy to continue on, so let's go ahead and renegotiate terms. Now, I could go for a higher risk, but you guys know the drill by now. I'm pretty chill, and the medium risk seems to always work, so we're going to go ahead and get that applied. Hopefully, they accept and there we go good news williams happy to do that and yeah we're gonna see out the rest of this final season with them in terms of perks we can definitely afford a couple we've got 1.3 million to spend so looking at some options here i'm probably gonna think performance wise so we're gonna get some engine wear mapping so we're gonna fix that and we'll go for a social media team level one and also media coaching why not may as well just spend the money so there we go perks done we can now move into the upgrades now we have 1,574 points, so we're going to go ahead and spend those. Looking at the options, I don't think we're going to be able to afford much as the upgrades are quite expensive now. Uh, looking at the chassis here, possibly a brake upgrade. It's only minor and it's 1,550 points, it's quite a lot. I think we may have to hold off on this one and wait until we have some more points. Upgrades are quite tricky to get now. I want to get this one right here, so we need at least another 430 points we could get those actually once we get the weekly resources on the 27th so we're going to go ahead and get those okay so we've got the extra 480 points so we can now afford this upgrade here it's a major one for the rear end of the car and we'll get that on to hopefully improve stability and just rear end performance if both of these upgrades arrive we're going to take a massive step forward and potentially be the third fastest team on the aerodynamic side of things so that's going to be a big boost for us heading into the second half of the season so yeah job done and the next race will be at hungary so guys hopefully you enjoyed the episode just like the birds outside if you did leave a like let's try and smash over a thousand likes on this subscribe for more daily f1 content on my channel f1 2021 content guys is just around the corner so do get subscribed for that as always a big shout out to the members i always appreciate the support from you guys and finally check out the two videos on your screen if you have missed them but that's it from me here today and i'll see all of you next time